The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture I do of me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. Everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines Whoa. podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, aka Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is one of the hosts of the Truthican podcast and the only traveling comedian out there and on the show. Please welcome back, Mr. Mike Baldwin. Yeah. Hi, Mike. I was making a video of that. Okay. So now people can watch it from multiple angles. <laughs> okay. Wow. And ladies and gentlemen, he is the best DEI hire of all time. Please welcome back Mr. JP. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to you. Thanks. Well, thanks for being here. We're gonna, hey. We're going to put it out there. JP and myself do not feel the best, but we're here for you. I feel great. Mike feels great, but JP and I that feel makes like me feel shit. worse. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> I right. feel really good today. What's yeah. wrong with you guys? Uh, yeah, I think it's allergies man. or something, but it's everything. just dragging ass. It sucks. But anyways, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to a Laughing on the uh, Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy show where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on, not in just sports, but in everything. And that's what it's going to be today. But this is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and make uh, a lot of people with thin skin very uncomfortable. So if you're one of those people, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. We got a great episode for you guys today. We really do, right? Yeah, man. Right, boys? I'm sure of it. I don't know. We do. I haven't looked at it, but I'm guessing I, after. I haven't looked at it either. I mean. I yeah. never make any promises. <laughs> yeah, if well. anything, I like to make people think it's going to be bad well that way it's so better, then if it's right. yeah if it's bad they're like well i mean at least he said it's bad it's yeah, gonna be bad but if it's good then people are like oh what a nice surprise yeah yeah that's how i look at pretty much everything in life well, good sure well we we definitely accomplished our goal on the last uh episode if you guys haven't gone and watched that one please do so uh but our goal uh, for this point on is going to be derail the fuck out of every single episode. And we did that in spades last episode. I didn't Thank even try to. Thanks to Mike's toenails. Toenails. I didn't. Uh, that people still hasn't cut. Stuff grows at different <laughs> rates on different people. <laughs> oh, whatever. What the fuck ever. If I we all that. shaved our heads today, it would all, all of them would grow back differently yes yeah but 90 fucking days like i used to date a girl who only had to shave her legs like uh, i don't know how often you're supposed to shave your legs but she was a redhead she had very like thin like unnoticeable hair and it was just as smooth as possible after a long Uh, time the people stop talking the people that mike hangs out with must have genetic atrocities or some shit because i i could not imagine somebody going 90 fucking days without cutting your do you want to see them no No. they're not bad no you just saw me in flip-flops or something i'm not one of those guys that you'd be like holy shit dude (laughs) you uh, they're just unremarkable yeah, oh. and either, you wouldn't be like, "Wow, those are great," but you wouldn't be like, "That's disgusting." Those are great. I don't think I ever have said that. I have. Yeah, okay. yeah. I've I've seen feet on chicks before where I'm like, "Dude, I'm not even like that into feet," and that turns me on. Oh my god, JP has thrown up in his mouth a couple of times already this episode. I'm guessing. No, he's okay. he knows yet, exactly what I'm talking about. No, I get it. Even, I mean, even, like I've seen an elbow before and been like, "Dude, that's." like the hottest elbow i've ever seen on a chick 
like, like just the way that she's standing or whatever. Like, I bet when she... This is the same guy that fucking doesn't cut his toenails except for every 90 days. I'm like, I bet when the rest of her body porn, appears, so, af- uh, I mean, appears from behind folks. the column, I'm going to be like, yeah, the, I knew that elbow was attached to a fucking hot body like that. Good God. Oh, Lord have mercy. No, yours does nothing for him. Uh, just checking. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, as as we always do in every single episode, we have some hot topics, and uh, there's one in main, mainly that we're going to try to capitalize on. Uh, we, we do have Never Have I Ever, That's Why I Draw the Line, and a shitload of questions and preguntas to ser- or to choose from. Damn. Yeah. Uh, Say we, words, yeah, dude. Yeah, I can't. Whenever I'm telling you're ready. you, I don't feel very good. I'm we're just, we're just getting you through You look this. like shit, too. I, don't, I feel like but shit. I think you both yeah, look great. Thanks, man. Thanks, Mike. Uh, but we also have a draft and as always a shitty situation but like we always do we're gonna kick this off with what we call our week week recap which is what happened to us over the last week so as always jp uh, smoke pop bold video games yeah uh, what are you still playing the same video game and no, what, what is uh, it i've been playing toe jam and earl lately <laughs> You know that game? No. Is it it's like a fucking I've heard, badass game? That's dude. from like the nineties, though. Is there a yeah, new version? It's a new version. Oh, Interesting. It's a new version, but uh, yeah, dude, it's a kick-ass game, man. It really is a lot of fun. It yeah. reminds me of playing Battle Toads. Yeah, because those of. came out l- yeah. within the same right. whatever of each other. Um, uh, Jesus. I heard, I heard that there was a, a roast that you didn't go to. Yeah, man, there was a roast I didn't go to for Jeremy Rush because I had to work. And uh, Travis Cagle was there, and he was in Daisy Dukes, a tank top, and a cowboy hat. <laughs> How the fuck <laughs> did I miss it? Oh, I'm so distraught for not seeing it in person. I do have pictures. Yeah, that's good. Downloaded like Mike downloads his porn. Uh, I did not download those. Fucking, we can't use Pornhub anymore. It's happened here. Yeah. It's finally yeah. happened. They, yeah, they did it. They here. did it here. You can't. Hey, doesn't and, bother uh, me. No, you can. You're good. You can. You just have to have login information and take a picture of your driver's yeah. license. Fuck, Fuck you. you. So yeah. now I think so. what everybody's going to do is go to the really shitty porn sites so you can at least do what you need to do and get off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and that's why I've got those pictures saved. because, <laughs> oh my God, but now, I mean, it's he, everything I ever hoped it would be, dude. It's, uh, I can't tell you how many times I've already pictured him in that outfit. <laughs> like, uh, I'll but just think like you. the amount of compliments he probably got oh. are enough to make him be like, you know, this might just be a new outfit that I, that <laughs> I, I just wear. So. God, I hope so. Oh my! Uh, or maybe goodness. if he did comedy and he and the show went well, then maybe he, it's in his head like how football players are like, I can't yeah. wash my socks. <laughs> yeah, he's he, like, I have to wear this to be the does, as funny yeah. as I can be. He does do this thing where he takes a basketball on stage with yeah, him, yeah, and it started at an open mic, and he did really good on that show. So he started doing it every time. So you may have, huh. wow. you may have something there. I God, I hope that's the case. Oh, I'll go geez. to every show he does. <laughs> I used to purposely make my shirt extra wrinkly because I had a really good show <laughs> with a it. with a wrinkly yeah. shirt once, and so I, I would wear like uh, the button up plaids all the time, and I would sit on it in my car on the way to the show, and then put it on when I got to the club. That lasted about a year or so before I worked with this dude that was like, "Dude, iron your fucking shirt. <laughs> you look like a piece of shit." And I was like, "All right." So oh, anyway, Lord sorry. have mercy. Uh, anything else that you did? Did you did you play any poker? Nope. Nope. I don't think I did shit else. I don't think it did. Besides work, man. I think both of us are still in like recovery mode, I think, just by by how we both looked whenever we walked up to the house. We're just yeah, like, man. I really, <laughs> I'm really, i sure I did some other shit. I'm sure you did. But you probably like know. ate some food. <laughs> oh, yeah. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. Took some bit. shits, I bet. Took some shits. Oh, man. Oh, My fucking did roommates. Did I spark a memory? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> My roommates will not fucking buy toilet paper. Why? But I buy it for the fucking house, basically. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm not gonna just fucking keep it in my room. And it's uh, my precious. Well, I mean, well, I'm sure there are things that but, uh, that you use that somebody else buys. No, not at all. Yeah, like milk, like fucking milk. No, I don't use Sick anyone bastards. else's fucking milk. Uh, 
Anyway. I don't. I literally. Do don't you have use. your own shower uh, soap in the shower? Yeah. And then, well, we just had the one <laughs> bottle. I'm not talking about sharing a bar or something. I just mean like the squirty bottle. We when I had roommates, we all squirted from the same bottle. I got my own shit, man. <laughs> all right. And I'll thank you to stay the fuck out of it. I won't touch anything right. in well, the. That's a good question. Are you guys a, a soap in the bottle guy, or are you a bar of soap guy? No, it's fucking body wash. Man. Uh, okay, bottle, uh, I'm just like, making sure. I use both. My roommate's a bar. I, I soap well, dude, I am not gonna lie. Every once in a while, every once in a while, my wife will get a brand new bar of Dove soap, and it's oh, it's like Dove's the, the best, dude. best shit. That's ever. what my grandma had when we were growing yes. up, and we'd always go take baths and fucking. Oh, oh dude, yeah, dude, it's, it, it's yeah, awesome. I feel you there. Yeah. But look, anyway. we got some lot in common, don't we? <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Seems We're trying like, to convert yeah. Scotty no. based on your shower no. habits. <laughs> no. Hey, you Seems like, like it's the best idea I've ever had. You like body wash? I'll tell you what else you might like. <laughs> Cox. <laughs> <laughs> No, that is impossible. Uh, Just I don't saying. know. I don't know. Uh, I, I use both. So there's someone out there for everyone. Yeah. Uh, I, I used to just be a bar soap guy, and then I had uh, like skin irritation or something, and I went to this. Well, I was actually getting my balls waxed, but while I was there, the the chick was like. The chick was like, do you use bar soap? And I was like, yes. And she was like, you should try body wash. It'll really improve all of that. And I was like, oh, okay. And so then I started using just body wash. But I don't. It, you don't get as good a lather from body wash. So I still use you bar do soap. If you use a loofah. <laughs> I use a poofy yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah loofah. That's a what that is. Thing. So let me get the this first price. time I got my balls Wait. waxed was like a. It it was sort of a joke. <laughs> it was like I'll do it. You guys don't think I'll do it? And I went and did it. And for like the next month, every chick that I interacted with went, oh. <laughs> So I was like, oh, this is cool. Like, chicks are into smooth balls. And then I did it, like, two more times Ugh. just because I liked it. The dude that doesn't trim his fucking toenails for 90 days somehow goes and gets his balls waxed. 90 days once. What the fuck? Okay? I, I like smooth balls. Oh, when I was in... <laughs> hey, Look at that. We like, have something in common. I like my balls it. to be smooth. I mean, Jesus my God. I, don't I feel like a, the luckiest boy in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about other people's balls. You do what you uh, want with them. Oh, uh, goodness. My God. I, I'm just... When a, I was a freshman, we were at football <laughs> practice, and there was this dude that was like a junior. His name was Ricky, and, and I wasn't cool enough to like chime in, but I could stand around and listen to those guys be funny, and Ricky goes, if you shave your balls, chicks will put them in their mouth, <laughs> and I thought about that at least once a week since it happened, oh, so yeah, every time God. I shave my balls, I'm like, hey, <laughs> Ricky. Jesus Christ. Well, I didn't see this going here. I didn't. I did so. not see it going here. But I thought uh, you requested that we derail shit. It, and you're doing so a far, very so good, good job about that. But anyways, was that your your week there, I JP? I guess so, man. I, good God. I'm pretty much, mighty. yeah. Okay. But anyway, my question is, <laughs> do I hoard my toilet paper now? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, especially if it's better than the single ply. Oh, it's. Okay. fucking charming it's like wiping Good your shit. ass with a mattress yes yes <laughs> that is what you were supposed to do right so uh yeah. i mean i don't i feel like i shouldn't have to be like hey bro the last fucking three times we fucking needed toilet paper i bought fucking toilet i mean paper. why i think that's exactly what you need to do yeah. you need to t talk about the thing but that's i know bothering he's just you. gonna go to fucking target and buy fucking like yeah the worst na fucking well single then just, ply fucking then just be like all right guys i it, i will acknowledge that i am the toilet paper guy you guys need to chip in a little bit one of these I will kill you if you keep clicking that goddamn pen. I can't even click it because the clicker doesn't work. <laughs> but I can he, click it like this. <laughs> he took the damn spring out of it last I episode. was trying to MacGyver two uh, pens together. <laughs> it didn't work. But no, you need to just be yeah, like, dude, man. give me ten bucks and I'll right. I'll be the toilet paper guy. Because right. I don't trust you guys to get it because you Not know. Not the worst I get thing the good anybody's shit. ever called me, by the way. <laughs> the toilet paper guy. God. All right. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. We got new intro music. 
I, I didn't even mention that shit. I'm oh. so sorry. We I, have a new intro. I didn't even know we had yeah. old intro music. Yeah, it's the, we did. We did. Oh, okay, we did. It's it's completely and totally new. It's so, got new clips and stuff like that on it. So we got us. We got to spice it up because the the old intro was legitimately me, Jeremy, and, and yeah. Derek, and now we have a crew. So after fucking five years of doing this fucking show, we finally have you know evidence that other people are on it. My so. God, the the. <laughs> <laughs> the leaps and bounds we're, we're making going, yeah. for you this guys. Is insane. So at it, this point in the show, it's already played. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, it's yeah. played. That was awesome. That's that great. was awesome. I have it's no great. idea. I didn't I see it. it but it's fucking awesome. But yeah, I look forward to seeing it. Yeah. So hey, here you go. I'm sorry I didn't mention it, but I mentioned it now. So yeah, it's a thing. How about you, Mike Baldwin? I heard you uh, had a couple of shows or, or a, sh- a show. I had a show. A show. It was at a winery in the middle of Illinois. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The guy before me did w- way longer than he was supposed to. <laughs> so I ended up going way shorter because we had to keep the show to a certain length of time, you know, but I still had fun. I think the audience had fun. I just drove a lot. I left at like five o'clock in the morning on Friday. I napped during the day a little bit, did the show at like eight yeah. and then hit the road immediately and drove eight hours back home. You are fidgeting. I need to fucking do something about that damn chair. And then I got uh, uh, home at like 5 a.m. Yeah. Uh, slept all day and then w- woke up, was up all night and then slept all morning. I'm all fucking oh, yeah. backwards as far as my sleep goes but yeah that was fun uh what else did i do not Uh, clip your fucking toenails no i didn't i Mm -hmm. it's only it's only been less than a month (laughs) they don't need it right now (laughs) i'm not embarrassed about it Uh, like lord like we are (laughs) like you guys are yeah (laughs) whatever if anything's gonna keep you from getting laid from this show it's that that's a hundred percent. Well, it's, it's not be. like pussy was throwing itself at me <laughs> before I mentioned that I've been on here for a fucking year. I've yet to Good get call. Laid. Good, all Good I, call. All I have are dudes that show up at the show and go, man, you guys are fucking funny. dude." Yeah. <laughs> it's not any chicks that are listening right now are only listening because their boyfriend is like, no, it's funny. Listen, I am actually shocked on how many listeners we have who are female not even joking and yeah, it's not just n- taylor it's like there's a bunch of them and it's and and you know like they all started listening because their husband or boyfriend start you know was like hey you should listen to these guys they're fucking hilarious and then all of a sudden they're yeah they're, they're invested they're invested they're like i point. gotta know if jp did good in bowling yeah, yeah that's probably <laughs> yeah, what's that's, that's probably what's driving our fucking spike right now oh uh, yeah Chick bowling fans oh, right jesus yep yeah that sure would be cool it. that would be a neat like like you know how Guinness records are like just not specific or I'm sorry like very specific you know yeah, you oh can, yeah you could be the most popular podcaster who also bowls nope <laughs> but you could be eventually nope why who's number who's 1 number 1 Packy Hanrahan <laughs> I don't know who the fuck that is that but is it's not a real person it's is it It's hilarious that the house you do bowling is his channel and his and his name is and they Packy have Packy Packy Hanrahan. 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 Yeah. And he's a fucking stud. He's but a pro bowler. He sounds got a, like a made up person. He's got person. a vlog. Uh, dude, no, it's uh, Every name sounds like a made up person if you say it a bunch of times. His fucking last name is Hanrahan. Are you fucking kidding Your me? Your last name is German. Hey, it's a good last I name. I know. What does that mean? That's the noise I make when I take a shit. <laughs> German. German. <laughs> Oh, uh, thanks, man. Have anything else you did down there, Mike? No, I didn't do shit. You didn't watch anything good? I mean, um, we did, but we'll get to that in a fucking little bit. Oh, well, I watched that, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but no, I don't think I've watched any movie. I've just been uh, Seinfeld. I started that really? over again. I'm really? on like season two of that. I it's- tried, man. I tried. I never watched it whenever it was out, and then it came out on Netflix, and I tried to legitimately watch every single Seinfeld episode, and I got to like season five, I think. Yeah. And I wanted to blow my damn head off. I just it's you uh, so went to season bad. six. It's good. It's good <laughs> it's background so stuff, and I've seen them all enough times that I know. I don't have to sit yeah, and right. pay attention to everything. Yeah. yeah. I can just like look up every once in a while. And be like, hey, that's George. how I am with the office. 
Yeah. Right. But yeah. But the, play but the play. office is funny. Oh, it's like it's great. hilarious. I think Seinfeld's, Seinfeld's funny too. Brilliant. I think it's terrible. Yeah. Like it's Whatever. so bad. You have bad taste. I yeah, guess. you're you're in the one percent. I guess. I just I didn't I just didn't think it was very funny. I guess. All right. All right. Way anyway. to bring down the show. Sorry. No, it's cool. JP knows comedy. Or I'm sorry, uh, Scotty knows comedy. I do. Look, look. I brought you guys into this great show that we exactly. have. And that Fucking is thinks, success. Thanks, we're good. Thanks, Seinfeld sucks. I do. What? Yeah. I so. do. Hey, did you see the Pop Tart movie? Uh uh-uh. uh. It was, I loved it. I mean, I, I can't say I loved it. It was quite enjoyable. Yeah, there were a it. lot of funny comedy comedian cameos and stuff, and it was just an enjoyable, dumb family movie oh, about the invention wow. of the Pop Tart. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, well, I, I I don't mean to be anticlimactic, however. Um, I did not do a whole lot. We are actually recording this on a Sunday, which is it should put everybody in a great mood because that means we don't have time constraints. We can fuck around, and and it's always great for me. And yeah, that's, and that's what means a lot to me is that the guy these guys legitimately are doing this out of the kindness of their hearts on a day that uh, I we, should be in bed. <laughs> exactly, I'm doing this for future money. I'm this is an investment yeah. for me. Well, then when, you're in big trouble. No, yeah. when we sign that deal with that sponsor who's yeah. watching right now. Now, right now we're gonna end up making like hundreds of dollars a piece, <laughs> oh right? God. And I'm gonna pay all my bills off. But that's the mm-hmm. other thing when this when this episode airs, it will be July 3rd, which is right before July 4th. Do you guys have any mm-hmm. plan? That's what how the calendar numbers works. Yeah. <laughs> math. No, but do you guys have any plans for July the fourth? Yes. What are you doing? I am not doing anything on the fourth but we're, we're doing it on the sixth oh, okay saturday saturday yeah, yeah. that makes nice. sense but uh, my uh, buddy we go out to his mom's house out in el dorado they got a pool and fucking they're loaded so we have shit tons of fireworks oh yeah it's a lot of fun be patriotic and shit how about you mike you got any plans for the fourth um i don't know exactly but i know i will be watching fireworks yeah. because i'm going to saint Cl- or i'm sorry saint paul minnesota for shows on Friday and Saturday. Oh, um, shit, no. God. A, a few times on 4th of July, I've been driving at night, and it's actually a lot of fun yeah. when you can just see the right. horizon and just see fireworks yeah. going off everywhere. Dude, uh, but, I am not fucking kidding. Have you ever driven during 4th of July at night in yes, Park City, Kansas? that's what Kansas, I just said. In Park City, Kansas? No. Holy I have. I used to live in Park City. Shit. Everybody. Holy fuck. Everybody. Fuck. And it's they like have daytime. They out. have no yeah. restrictions on fireworks. Nope. And everybody that lives up is there is crazy. fairly well off. So every one of them is shooting shit off and it's lighting up the goddamn sky. Not huh. to brag, but I was a resident of Park City. Uh, so was well, I. I had money. <laughs> so was I. And oh my God. They yeah. they are patriotic yes, sons of bitches are. up there. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. They also don't. Don't like the gays. <laughs> uh, we found that out. How did you uh, find that out? <laughs> because they fucking looked at us like we had the plague. <laughs> so they looked at you uh, weird, no, dude. What a bunch weird. of fucking hypocrite. God, not weird. Like they said shit. Like, oh, well, that should walk. have been the first thing that you right. said. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> I'm yeah, like, I, what did I, they I do? Ah, uh, they thought a, things. They're a hillbilly. Dude. <laughs> All of them. Hey, I used to live up there. I'm not, a, I'm not a hillbilly. <laughs> guns. <laughs> okay, I do love guns. Hey, yeah, I mean, no, that's great, and me too. Yeah, but. You know, they didn't even give me the chance to be like, look, I suck dick, but I also love to shoot guns. <laughs> yeah. They just saw that the fact that I suck dick and went, ew. Did yeah. they, you know what I mean? Did yeah. they see you sucking a dick? Or My no? neighbors across the street literally called their kids from ah. in the middle of the road. Oh, God. When we came out of the house because they thought their kids were going to catch it or something. I don't know. <laughs> but but I, I went over there and knocked on the door one time because we had we were getting new furniture and we were getting rid of the old shit. And they had this couch on their porch. And we we're like, man, our couch is better than that. Maybe they'll want it, you know, because we're just going to fucking get rid of it anyway. I'm not trying to resell it or anything. And so I went and knocked on the door, and the fucking littlest one answers the door. He's like, yeah, what do you want? <laughs> and I'm like, um, we're getting new furniture, and we're remodeling our house, and we've got this old couch and love seat, and we were just wondering if you guys wanted it to sit out here on your porch. And uh, the kid goes, oh, man. He goes, 
Brianna could really use some new furniture. And then you hear the dad going, shut the fucking door. <laughs> but I'm just, at what point? Like just, they did not like us. Well, I just want to know, like, when the gay was admitted or <laughs> discovered. What do you mean admitted? <laughs> well, JP uh, likes to leave his windows open and not close the blinds. And so the reason why his neighbors hated him is because he was fucking his boyfriend oh, dude, up against the no. glass. My boyfriend, my boyfriend at the time was like basically the fucking Martha Stewart of gardening. <laughs> so he was always out there in his little fucking outfits, fucking digging in that. Oh, there was, oh, so it was God. the outfit. There was no <laughs> doubt so that we were gay. All like, right. Oh. Well, that's what I was wondering. When we were like, at the grocery store together, fucking shopping together and like it wasn't arm and like, arm and it, no but it wasn't like hey, giggling man, and you shit. want some pop tarts yeah i could go for it was more like honey are we out of pop tarts oh, <laughs> you know my. what i mean like mm -hmm. he, he was uh it was we were together for a long time yeah but uh yeah good memories anyways huh? yeah. Uh, yeah. So and, some then, of them. and then bad memories yeah. probably yeah so on in my case for fourth of july if, <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> tell me more about this gay neighbor <laughs> No, I guess for my case, the Fourth of July. If you have a dog that is absolutely terrified of thunderstorms yeah, and fireworks, that sucks. Your Fourth of July is you are at home doing damage control. So that has been my Fourth of July uh, ever since I've had this fucking dog. So that's what it's going to be. But I hope all of you guys out there enjoy your Fourth of July celebrations and being patriotic and being anti-communist. Because you know what, the F in communism stands for food. That's what it is, right? Y yep <laughs> yep <laughs> what's the c stand for no the f in communism stands for food there's not an f and there's not any food that's how it works there you go yeah but once a uh, hundred million people starve to death <laughs> just think of how much extra True. room yeah. we'll all have True. Oh. then there's enough food for everyone then. yeah uh, but no, the other thing that I, I do plan on doing, I, I, I'm going to go and, and shoot guns. My brother will oh, be back in town, man, and we are going to go to the gun range. So that's that's better than shooting off fireworks. Got, and off then guns. that clip plays right before Sarah McLaughlin and, <laughs> yeah, and right. 1981 to 2024 yeah. or whatever pops up on the screen. I'm yeah. going to go play with guns. <laughs> <laughs> I will remember <laughs> you. Let's hope. Uh, but the last thing, the last thing, I am going to lose my fucking shit with Cox Communication. I know there's cable and internet companies all over the United States, and Cox Communication is exactly what it is. It, it, it's exactly what it is. They're a bunch of cocks just trying to fuck every customer. That is what they are. Yeah, how and are I've you still it. using Cox? I don't no, You're I don't fool. like I, I I'm sitting at home yesterday. This is on a Saturday and all I want to do is legitimately watch a shitload of YouTube videos all day long. That's mm -hmm. all I want to do. And I can't fucking do it because Cox Communications decides to, I don't know, test shit and just cut off everybody's internet on my block for hours. Was there a, a like a maintenance issue or something? Or? I have no idea. But then when you look up Cox and you go, hey, is there an actual... <laughs> hold on, I've you done that. Upon some, <laughs> I sorry, have done some that. shady <laughs> website. It asks for your ID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, but if you look up, you can see if you are a, a Cox Communications customer, you can see if there's an outage in your area. Of course. Of course. And it just says, yeah, it seems to be that there's an outage in your area. We are trying to rectify this expect it to be back up and running in five to six hours fuck off fuck off on a saturday you sons of bitches i i so now i'm uh, going to at&t fuck off i i am so fed up yeah because they they never have outages and never do maintenance <sighs> probably it's rare I, I i'm just it really is rare it's rare with cox too no it's, no, not. it's not i i'm not no, even kidding not. you i lose sucks. i lose internet or cable at least twice a month no bullshit. And it's always, that. and I'll tell it's you, horrible. I will also tell you something. It is always when you're trying to watch like a big event. It happened all the time during the NFL season. If there was a pay-per-view on uh, like for UFC on a Saturday night, that's when it fucking would happen. And it's like, are you fucking kidding me right now, dude? So I'm done. I am. Fuck. I am so done with them and I'm, I'm happy. Uh, I, I'm going to do that on uh, well Monday. Right. So, yeah. You should get a Starlink thing. 
I would I would definitely look into it. I just don't know how expensive it is. And if it's not ridiculous, that sounds like a great way to go. It's an expensive investment. You got to spend like six or seven hundred bucks for the equipment. Oh, but then it's like a hundred dollars a month or whatever it is. But it's allegedly like faster and shit. better. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I have heard about it. But anyway, technology, dude. Yep. Uh, but anyways, well, I use Cox and I'm uh, reasonably happy with it. Good for you. I get all of my shit. Basically, if the internet didn't exist, all of our lives would be better anyway. <laughs> I heard it too. I'm Dude, not. Every time you speak, we have more in common. <laughs> I I use gotta... Cox all the time too, and I'm reasonably happy. <laughs> reasonably, you I, haven't you haven't had Cox in a long time. Oh, no, it's been a so long. <laughs> I've had Cox for like the last three years or something. (laughs) It's been the best decision I ever made. (laughs) I'm thinking. I'm thinking about. I may have to start paying for it soon. (laughs) Well, I haven't ever done that. But no, no. I pay about eighty dollars a month for Cox. No, you've been paid. Never. You said you had. No. Well, he, I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, about. if I did, I was making it up at the time. I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> no, Let's I just don't think he remembered. Yeah, Let's I don't think he remembered. Shit. <laughs> I mean, basically, <laughs> yeah. maybe. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of, in a roundabout way. Yeah. I always get paid. <laughs> oh, my God. Did uh, we start the show already? Yeah. Or? Yes. Unfor- unfortunately, we have. Uh, I did want to do one question. It was asked, but but um, it was from Craig Remington. Uh, the only problem is, is the question that he asked, while I think it's a great question, can only apply to me because it says, how long can you do a project with your spouse before you either let them do it alone or kick them off and take over it? I've had a spouse. You don't anymore. We completely rebuilt a house together. <laughs> So I think this is very relevant. I know. Did only but, one of you do it, and did the other just be like, "All right, you fucking do it." We actually you think you're so good. We, we both started it, and then we paid my brother in law to finish it <laughs> <laughs> because we were both like, "Fuck this manual labor." Uh huh. I don't think so. So then my brother in law fucking he's a firefighter. And uh, he did construction on the side, like most firefighters do. Yeah. And uh, so we just paid him to finish it. Okay. Uh, how about you, Mike? Have you ever got to a point with a with a girlfriend that you just were like, okay, throw your hands up and done? I don't know. No, well, no. But you have, or you wouldn't have included this question. I know. So. I know. Because so let's hear how you're a dick to your wife. No. Okay. <laughs> Here's the deal. We already know. Me and my my wife and myself have only had really really big fights a handful of times. I mean, I can legitimately count them on one hand of how many times like we were screaming at each other because we were so mad with each other. Yeah. And it's when we move furniture. That is when it is. If we're moving a couch and we're trying to get through a door, that woman has absolutely no fucking clue how to get that couch through the door. That just reminds she, me of Family Guy. No, she, no, 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 no. Yes, twist it. Twist yes, it. Yes. Twist yes. it. Look, look at where I'm looking. Twist it that way, I but swear, backwards for you. I swear. She doesn't have... There are people that can't visually like think of stuff Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like Mm -hmm. if if i asked you like hey can you imagine an apple and we can both go what we can see in our mind's eye what an apple looks like yes she cannot and so when i'm trying to maneuver furniture wherever i can visually see how this works she can't do it and so legitimately those are the like three or four times where we have legitimately screamed bloody murder at each other and I would just, I just dropped the couch and I fucking left. Have you ever tried taping the picture of an apple on the couch? <laughs> yeah, you no. Know. No? No. Oh, okay. No, but yes. My work. So it is, we cannot move furniture with each other. Mm. I'm not even kidding. That was such so. a great story. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I can't it's think no of It's no wonder a- we don't have any listeners. <laughs> I, that was a good couch it, moving story. I, I, it it I, hits home with everybody. It does. It, when I, I re- rewatch this episode, this is probably the point I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> but not because of this part coming up. Um, no, no. We got, we're going to save that for last. No, not that. Okay. I remember uh, my. I have two older sisters, so it was my responsibility to help move anytime they would move. Mm-hmm. And they moved. They both went to college. They both fucking had several apartments. Like It seemed like every few months it was like, you got to help your sister yeah, move in yeah. the morning. And so, yeah, it just became like... I just hated Mike's moving company. I just hated my life at uh, 
every time we had to yeah. do that. Oh, yeah. We had to drive to Georgia once because uh, one of my sisters moved there. Arizona another time. No, that's the worst when you have to travel a long ways and then unload. The, oh, like, come God. on, man. Yeah. We so loaded bad, the dude. motherfucker, so drove bad. forever, and now we got to fucking take all the shit out of it. When oh. my parents moved and myself moved my sister to Arizona, it was like Beverly Hillbillies. Yeah. It, I, like yeah. Stuff was tied. My dad like got the tape measure out to make sure that it wouldn't hit bridges and shit yeah. but not by much like uh it was it was uh, thinking back now it was actually really impressive but yeah. at the time it was like dad you're trashy why don't you just rent a truck and he's like we ain't renting a we damn don't need truck. To rent a truck we got trucks i got yeah. rope i did want to i did want to tell you guys something because it'll make you fucking laugh your ass off i was gonna i was gonna wait for him to come on the show to tell everybody but uh did you hear derek got a new car no, no what what did he get a tesla i love how sometimes derek says that he you know is not very well off and then goes out and buys himself a fucking lexus ah yeah yeah was it used though probably <laughs> no i feel like no <laughs> i'm in my honda it fit derek, does like it, what yeah he doesn't, he doesn't buy, buy used shit he dude. buys new shit yeah i bet you it's not used you're probably I right i could not imagine derek buying a used car yeah. uh, we'll, we'll as a matter of fact katie's car uh-huh is used and he talks down to it <laughs> he does he <laughs> does, does. Dude. It does. It's yeah. so and he's watching now going, of it course it's not fucking used, <laughs> right, you yeah. asshole. No, I would assume it's got to <laughs> be gotta new. It's got to be new. No way he's driving a used oh, vehicle, man. dude. Well, but good for him. Good I mean, for that him. Just... I, I said I'm proud of him. I even told him. I was like, dude, good for you. I'm proud of you, you rich son of a bitch. He I bought know. a really expensive Toyota. Yeah, Way to did. go. Yeah, he did. We he's... did a gig together, and I went to his house to pick him up, and I just remember being like, damn. Yeah. Like, I didn't he's think, doing all right. I didn't think he would live in a place like this. I thought I'd be pulling into an apartment yeah, or something no believe it or not did you go it, inside <laughs> i don't think so no you should You'd really be going goddamn <laughs> if you went inside believe it or not <clears throat> if you win wheel of fortune once yeah, and then you win wichita's funniest person twice you yeah, have yeah yeah you, have, you, have, expendable you income. have expendable income but anyways well let's move on to the rest of the show we've derailed it enough let's move on to hot topics mm-hmm. and uh i don't have very many I don't have very many. I have one that we are going to beat the shit out of, but we're going to do that last. I think the last one on here is the one we should beat the shit out of the most. We're going to start with it because it is uh, little LeBron. Bronny is going to the Lakers to they play lost with their goddamn Dad. minds. Dude. That's LeBron James' son. Yep. Yeah. And he's how old? Uh, like 19. 19 20. How old is 19, LeBron 20, James? 40 something. Okay. 38, I guess. I don't know. I don't really give a shit either. But he's going to go and play with daddy at the Lakers. Is, I mean, has that happened before? Father, son on the same team? I don't know. It, that, it hasn't happened where the guy goes, you either take my son or I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ha- that hasn't happened before. But it did. But it did. It, it sure did. It did now. <laughs> hey, I mean. Dude, how stupid are you? Derek called Jean- it. Jeannie Buss is the dumbest fucking bitch, and it <laughs> kills me. And Whoa. it kills me because her dad was fucking awesome. Yeah. Dude, Jerry Buss, Jerry Buss was, was great. a fucking phenomenal yeah. dude. Yeah. I loved that fucking dude. And she has just managed to just fucking eat a dick at every fucking turn. Derek called it. <laughs> Derek called I this. I can't believe they let it happen. Two years before it happened, he flat out said no. LeBron is going to either stay with the Lakers so they can draft his son or the, whoever drafts his son, he's going to go, go there. there. He called it. I, I got to give him credit because he called it two years before it fucking and look, happened. I can't blame LeBron James because, look, dude, if I had that kind of power – yeah, that I could help my son get into the NBA. I'm gonna fucking do it. Sure. I mean, is that? Is but it, you could also fault him because the dude's not ready. Yeah, he's not. He's not good enough no, to play in the he's NBA. Not. He's just not. So that's what I was gonna ask. Is it verified that this dude would not have been drafted oh, if the circumstances nobody, yeah. were? Like, I don't know if you could verify that, but I think everybody yeah. secretly knows that. They yeah, also said they're yeah. going to start him in the fucking... No. It is yeah. officially they the first time that. in history no. that a father and son have shared the court in the NBA. Well, good for them. Good for fucking them. I think it's cool, but I don't give a fuck about... <laughs> I think it's cool. Basketball or anything. 
But I mean, I think it would be cool. It's if, neat. It's neat. I think it would be it's, cool if my dad or my son was a comedian. Yeah. And I and I got to open I'll for him what, and introduce I, him and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would be cool. Yeah. If I had a son, he'd be a bowler. <laughs> my dad was a bowler. We yeah. bowled on the same team for a long time. So I guess we're basically like LeBron You're James. You're exactly yeah. like LeBron. I'm Brawny. You are. Yeah. Good for you. Hopefully you get your own Brawny someday. Oh, yeah. God, I hope so. <laughs> oh, no. Could you, you gotta, imagine me with a kid? You would be walking. Oh, I could. You, I mean, I can imagine any human being with a kid. I would be one kid, fucked up kid. Yeah. But he'd a be lot cool of, A lot of kids shit. are fucked up. You'd be, yeah. You'd be taking him to pride parades. Dude, my at kid would be one dope. year old. My kid would be cool Trying as shit. Trying to convince him he's trans. It'd be a great day. No, because here's the thing. Being gay, <laughs> I know it's not a fucking choice, <laughs> you bigot. <laughs> Uh, you dumb fuck. <laughs> you know what, man? I'm just God giving you it. shit. I want to like you. I love I you. I do, man. Yeah, I really but love you. And you go and say stupid <laughs> shit like that on Pride Month. Hey, it's not it. Pride Month anymore. Oh, not anymore. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. We crossed over. <laughs> yeah. Hey, see you next Son year. Bitch. Yeah, now right. I know how black people feel. <laughs> Every in fucking February. every company that had to change their logo back to the original colors as opposed to the rainbow flag. Oh, I like so all the sad. all the examples of like the American version of a company with their rainbow shit, and then they showed like the Saudi Arabia version, and it's just like all black logo. Yeah. Like, yeah, we ain't changing shit for that here. Anyways, moving on. Congratulations to the Florida Panthers. Yeah, they pulled it out. They did. What did they? Play. They won. Hockey. 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 All right. We said, we said that, holy shit, the Edmonton Oilers look fucking good. And JP and, and I were both like, fuck, they're probably going to win it. They're going to be the first team to ever go good. four straight after being beat three times. And we said that. And as you would expect, we were wrong. We were wrong. Yeah. Florida Shocker. ends up winning the Stanley Cup. Fuck Florida. I, I was it a good fuck game? Fuck Florida. Yeah. Fuck old oh, people. Yeah. It was good. Why, um, they just don't give a shit about mascots or anything, do they? No. I would think they should make each mascot sport specific. Like I agree. Uh, hockey mascots should all be Cold ice, weather. ice <laughs> related. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Polar bears. Yeah. And yeah no sh- Arctic well, wolves. That's the thing. It's a Florida team where you don't normally have cold weather, but, and I was wrong. I thought that the Florida Panthers like won the Stanley Cup or had been to the Stanley Cup a lot. I think they went, but they always got beat by like Tampa Bay. I was mixing them mm. up. So that was my the fault. The lightning. The lightning is who Which I Which happens yeah. in cold weather. It, so it we'll, does. We'll, I'll allow we'll it. We'll allow I it. I guess. Okay. Penguins. There's no penguins, penguins in good. Florida. No, but Pittsburgh is the penguins. Okay. That's a good one. That is a good one. Uh, the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. They yeah, got new uniforms. Have they're you dope. Seen? Holy shit. Yeah, they're sick. Shit. They no, are they are. Sick. They really are. They're am, sick. I may actually they, buy a jersey. They drafted a kid in the third round uh-huh. that like this kid is blown away like they didn't expect this kid to go till god only knows if he got drafted at all and they took him and maybe even the second round really but the video i saw a tiktok about it oh. and dude the the look on that kid's face is everything that you ever hope to achieve in life it just comes Jeez. true and you're not ready for it. dude it's phenomenal but, but yeah, anyway, the Ducks jerseys though. No, they're sick. They're all they're orange. They're yeah, fucking I'm rad. So buying oh, a couple. It's yeah, so awesome. They're very cool. So congratulations to you, Florida Panthers fans. I guess you guys hadn't had a Stanley Cup. Uh, you know, you haven't won the Stanley Cup in like thirty fucking years or some shit like that. So congratulations, good for you guys. But the most important thing that we were going to get to today on hot topics is uh, I think the only thing that is being talked about in social media, pretty much anywhere. And what is that? Our president? Holy fucking shit. Did you guys did you actually watch the thing? Yes, yes I Dur- did. During the thing? Uh-huh, I did. Yeah, it was uh I was I think I think wow. it's safe I think it's safe to say everybody knows who Mike is a fan of. I'd say JP Trump, and, baby. I say JP and myself are both uh kind of a little bit more of a mystery. I very much cannot stand <laughs> fucking Dodgers. There's no mystery here. <laughs> I can't stand Donald Trump. I think he's a pompous, arrogant fuck. Okay. I don't think he's good for anything. Yeah. Except being president. <laughs> right. He's not yeah. a guy he's you'd want to have a beer yeah, no, with. He's, but hey, no, he's here's great. the deal. Here's the deal. We're going to talk about oh. this, but we're going to be, you know. Non-political keep, when we talk dip. about Suck politics. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. <clears throat> but I think everybody out there 
watched this debate, if you want to fucking call it that. Yeah, it was like one of the highest uh, watched things in a while. Oh, my God. It was bad. I, I mean, he was he's I thought that he was an an old piece of shit for a long time. And it, this just kind I don't of think verifies you can say it. old piece of shit. The dude's done some pretty amazing things like what? Like war hero, he fucking like younger, not not as president. He's done shit as president. I don't I'll think he that. was a war hero, yeah, was he? he? Def- absolutely, Joe you know. Biden. Yeah, man. I'm. We're gonna look that up. <laughs> look it up all you want. Live all, fact checking. All you need to know. All you need to know. If you did not watch it, because I know there was a lot of people that turned it the fuck off because they couldn't watch it. I laughed and laughed and laughed. And then at that one fucking point, when he fucking really lost it, and fucking Trump looked over and goes, I don't don't know what he just said, said, and I don't don't think think he he does either. Dude, literal tears (laughs) coming down my cheeks. And it was at that very moment, I was like, holy fuck, I'm going to vote for Trump. Oh, my God. Like, how is this possible? And How is it possible? I know Joe Biden was never in a war. He yeah. did not ever serve in the military. You don't know about it. <laughs> He's a secret, secret war yeah, hero. Dude. Yeah, there you so, go. So, yeah. No, and and I I will admit uh, to every I am I am neither side. I do not. Yeah. I'm not. I don't consider myself a fan it of doesn't the, matter what the side D's you're on or anymore. a fan of the R's. In fact, if you have a D or an R in front of your name, I normally don't like you at all. But. Uh, I can honestly say that watching that whole clusterfuck of what you would call a debate was absolutely shocking that we live in a country that they legitimately think that those are the two best options that they have for a president. That is basically what I got out of it. Yeah, and, and I know crazy. I, I'm sitting there and it's like how and I know that the that the right for like a, over a year have said, look at him decline. Look at him. He doesn't. I mean, they are weekend at burning his ass up onto stages yeah, they are too. and they're propping him up. And then they I cannot believe that they're they even decide. Treats. Yes. Yes. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece worst, of candy. The Ooh, worst. A piece of candy. I swear to God. The worst out of all of it, though. Everybody saw the debate. But if you did not see the video after the debate was over and his wife had to help him walk him down the stairs Holy shit. She helped walk him up too. And then he Three went to stairs. Get, he went to give a speech yeah. and she goes, You did so good, yeah. Joe. You <laughs> answered all the questions. And, and then face, she gave him a treat. And his, <laughs> his face was like, ah, like it yeah. was so oh, bad. He was happy. He's and a then, happy I'll tell you why, he's a happy old dude. <laughs> yeah, because he, he know is a he's happy alive. motherfucker, dude. Uh, I don't I, I don't know that. if I would call it happiness. Oh, I think it's happy. it's frightened smiles oh, all the God. time. It's just where you're like, if I just smile, then the threat might go away. And there's supposed to be another debate in September. I don't. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. He might be debating Michelle Obama instead. I, oh, he may be man. Deba- he, uh, hopefully he's debating anyone but Joe Biden. They are, they, are, they are in a panic mode because they know that that dude can't win. I mean, they I don't know. even. That's no, why no I, I don't think we'll even have a normal election, but we'll just wait and see when that happens. You're crazy. But. I we didn't some, have a normal election last time. I, no, I just mean I think something Storm will happen the before then that they're like, all right, just for everyone's safety, we're going to have to postpone this thing. I, I got to say, I'm on his side on that one. Uh, I think the J, J6 is a bunch of bullshit. They, if had, you they, wanna, had, they had police officers showing badges that were dressed up and, and let all these fucking people in. It's a, It was a fucking coup. If Trump wins again... Then we'll see what a real January 6th looks like when all these crazy fucking Democrats show up at the Capitol and try to do the exact same thing. Please don't. Won't happen. Please don't. It's uh, who's protested more in the last 10 years and who's done it more violently. Oh, man. Yeah. If Trump wins, people are going to go crazy. But anyway, I'll be like, fuck, yeah, not because of the craziness, but, <laughs> but just because we'll have four years of peace and prosperity. Whatever. again. But the whole thing is, is this is what this is what world we're living in. And this is what we have to, to choose. And that's it's not fun. I don't think you can talk to anybody about prosperity so. <laughs> <laughs> until Anyways. until COVID. A one, uh, every hundred year thing happened and people <laughs> blame it on the guy. The thing that shut down the whole world. And they're like, this guy should have handled it better. <laughs> 
It's like, all right, uh, any of us should have handled it better. We all should have been like, look, I'll get a fucking cold. I'm going to work. <laughs> and this is why we don't talk politics on this show. Yeah. But anyways, that is hot topics. Now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show. Because that's what it's all about. I'm thrown off now. I don't even <laughs> want to do this anymore. Anyways, thank you guys for per, uh, participating in Monday Fun Day. We sincerely do appreciate it. We've got quite a few good ones. There's even a, an extra one or two in here and a shitload of questions. So strap in. Uh, the first one is going strap to be... Strap on. There you <laughs> no, go. I don't want that. Not at all. Uh, but anyways, the first one is going to be Never Have I Ever. This comes in from Tyler Plackey. He wants to, he wants to know, Never Have I Ever Shot a Sparkler Out of a Hole in My Body. No, I've seen that jackass, but... <laughs> There's only one of us here that would consider doing it. Do Roman candles count? 100%. Well, then, yes. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, my Lord. I'm glad that you I lit br- the correct uh, end. Otherwise, I didn't that, light it. That could be painful. Oh I didn't light it. Somebody else did. Mm-hmm. Oh, my uh, God. And yeah. uh, the only thing I could think the whole time was, please, God, don't let this be one of the ones that backfires. <laughs> oh, man. Because they do that sometimes. I know. Yeah. And, that's uh, why you don't fucking do that. <laughs> well. You got. You live. You learn. You fucking take risks. People, calculated risks. People want to know why women live longer than men. It's and examples because, like that. Because I'm out in the middle of a field in Augusta, Kansas, <laughs> with a Roman fucking candle Roman candle, candle, candle shoved in my asshole. <laughs> I mean, it's happened. Oh Jesus Christ! All right. Well, thank God you're still with us, there, JP. <laughs> thank God you don't have I, a fucking I, I, ball. I ran, I ran around. A fire. That was great. Jesus. That was fucking phenomenal. Next one uh, comes in from Austin Hansel. He wants to know, never have I ever had a Roman candle war. I have done that as well. Yeah. Quite a lot of times. Yeah, actually. I would say 10, yeah. a minimum of 10 yeah. Roman candle fights in my life. Yeah. Most of them were just like one Roman candles length, you know? No, dude, we've had forts. I mean, yeah. we legitimately yeah. set up <laughs> forts. Yeah, we fucking went and, all out. And it was Roman candles. It was dude, bottle rockets. Dude, the best are yeah. the fucking Saturn missiles, Oh, dude. fuck, yes. Right, it's like a machine gun. Yes. <laughs> and and you can just hold there, them. And while he's over there fucking getting them with those, everybody's looking, the noise, everything. They're like, oh, fuck. Uh-huh. Meanwhile, I'm over here with fucking two Roman candles. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> fucking, yeah, that's the best, dude. Yeah, uh, until your fucking house burns down. Only in yeah. America. We're baby. just having fun. We uh, mostly did it out in fucking fields. And yeah, shit. you got to be safe. Yeah, we. <laughs> I mean, you got to be yeah. safe when you're firing flaming projectiles. At I grew one up in the country. Yeah. Like we didn't have a 100%. bunch of. I was in like a big suburban neighborhood or uh, we yeah. had acres of land and Boy. fucking. I definitely was in a very residential area, and yeah. we would just hit trees. It seems and like bushes it would be more fun, but shit. also way more dangerous. <laughs> fucking poor old bitch comes out to check her mail. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, why are you checking your mail yeah, at night? Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> yeah, but also plenty of daytime. Roman candle fights too, which oh, yeah. which changes things a little bit. It, it messes with the you know yeah. whether you can Hide. see it coming see out it here coming right. or not. Yeah. That too. Uh, well, and I guess this next one just comes right in at perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> this comes in from Jeff Friedman. He wants to know: Never have I ever gone to the ER for a ridiculous reason. Not that I could really remember. I'm shocked. Mostly because when no, I was no a hamsters kid, no, stories. Dude, I, no. <laughs> I've shoved Roman candles up there, but never a hamster. I'm not sick. Uh, oh, no, poor Lord. hamster. Yeah, poor why would hamster. you do that? Oh, that's horrible, man. It's terrible. It's that's like awful. a that's like a it's torture. Like an old wives' tale, I think. I don't think that ever happened. I don't. What, think I really forget happens, the name of the thing, but I'm they sure. would, uh, as a form of torture back in torture days. Oh yeah. They would take like a little dome cage and put it on like a person's belly or whatever, the and then rats. put some rats, rats in it, and then yeah. they would have like Burrow. fire on the outside of it, so the rats would try to oh, run away. Terrible. And the oh. only place they could go is like into the skin. Oh, that's gross. They did okay. it with that's buttholes up. too. That's not with what buttholes oh, oh sure yeah. the cage yeah. on the butthole oh, oh god uh, but no has, has anybody ever gone to the er for some ridiculous reason i can't really think of it i've gone to the er but i mean it was because i thought i was dying 
Yeah, like I, I, we, we would avoid going to the ER. You go, mm, mm, mm. yeah. When it was the only time in my life, I was like, I think I need to go to the fucking hospital, yeah. and that was kidney stones. Oh yeah, I've heard that's terrible. Me too. Really? Yeah, dude, hundred percent. But now I know if it happens again, I'll know what it is. Yeah. But I mean, I, I was like, no. I don't even know dude, what side of my body yeah. things are 100%. on. Percent. I was like, maybe it's my gallbladder I or my heart. Sure. I don't it, know. I thought I was done. <laughs> oh I barely God. made it to the heart. Like, it was I, the yeah, most painful was thing I've ever felt I in agree. my life. Wow. I, I was agree. all green and shit. The I lady agree, was like, yeah. something's wrong with you, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm give dying. Me some drugs. Well, and like, like, I just remember like we would avoid going to the ER all the time. I mean, my buddy fell out of my truck going 60 and we didn't go. Yeah, dude. I Like, fuck that. Our parents would rub some dirt on exactly. it fucking go back out and play. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, no, I've never. Yeah. If, really. if, if something ain't broken, then don't come and tell me about it. Yeah. Are you bleeding? No. Okay. Then you're fine. Go away. Yeah. Or and if you are, go get a band-aid. Right. Go get a band-aid. 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 How much? Yeah. Right. Now let's let's see under the blood. How <sighs> bad is the actual cut? My nose is starting to itch again. I don't like it. Nope. I no. JP. No. P- people are thinking about yeah. <laughs> I know. All right, and last one uh, comes in from Mason Cole. He wants to know: Never have I ever watched gay porn out of a morbid it's curiosity. It's the only reason I watch gay porn. <laughs> we know Just Mason Cole curiosity. has, yeah. or he wouldn't have asked. Exactly. He's mm. like, wait, are, am I the only one? Yes, you Let are. Let me just look him up. <laughs> no, <laughs> I've only watched gay porn out of accident. <laughs> I remember <laughs> I, on I was, one of my. I was waiting for the girl to come into the room, but she never came. One of my. <laughs> <laughs> the pizza boys showed up instead. <laughs> I just typed in redheads, and it was just a redheaded dude fucking a redheaded dude. And oh, I was like, no. Hot. Now that's hot. <laughs> this isn't redheads. Oh, this is dudes redheads. fucking. Oh, God. All right. Well, that is Never Have I Ever. Now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of every single episode. This is That's Where I Draw the Line. So what's your uh, what's your standpoint on Mason there? Uh, there's a lot of There's Mason many Cole. of them, yeah. Uh, well, we need to know it. what city he lives in or where he works. No worries. Well, this one's in middle school. Let's try him for a <laughs> no, Oh, no. Get no. out of here. Quit it. Stop. Pride month is over. There's too many of them. <laughs> That's fucking terrible. There's too many of them. Yeah, there's too so many of them. All right. Uh, but that's where I draw the line. This is JP's favorite part of every single episode. We're going to kick this bad boy right off with Jacob Paul Hazen. He wants to know, where do you draw the line? How much money would it take to have an unprotect? Oh, I get it. Okay. How much money would it take to have an unprotected kick to the nuts from an MMA fighter? There's got there. Mm, how much? 500. I was going to say, well, how, much, how much are you in debt? Like, <laughs> it depends on like, it. I, if I'm friends, if I can talk to the MMA fighter ahead of time, I'd be like, all right, I'm getting 10 million for this. I'll give you two. Let's go be, soft, be buddy. Be nice. Let's, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I get, I'm no, sure the there are minimum? stories of people's, uh, d- has anybody ever died from a kick to the oh, nuts? Oh, for sure. Have they? You I don't know. Think I don't know. That it's happened. Let's ask yeah. artificial intelligence. <laughs> Have you, I don't know if you could die. I think you could. I mean, if you burst like a feel blood like vessel I'm, or something. Oh, oh, it hurts right now. <laughs> just talking about it. Seriously. Yeah. Like, <laughs> can you? And you can feel it. Oh, in, like, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, and you're you right, right here. Yeah, 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 dude. Oh, it's so bad. Based on the information provided, there is no evidence oh. that anyone has ever died okay. from a kick to the nuts. So you're living. You're going to be alive. It's just going to be really fucking oh, painful. Oh, God. Yeah. For how long and for like <laughs> a, f- a day or two tops. Are they going to be swollen? Because that might not be so bad. No, I'm kidding. Yes. Um, I mean, it oh, just you're gonna, depends. You're like, going to break a ball. Oh, oh Jesus. You're going to break a ball. You can't. Yeah, I would talk say, about busting a nut. <laughs> yeah. I would say oh. a flat rate plus any medical expenditures yeah, that I have take, to do. How with. much? Yeah, take, take the uh, medical bills out of it. A uh, hundred grand. Oh, Jesus. You're that, high. Oh, that's high? Yeah. I mean, I... <laughs> I guess I'm a little bit more. What would you? Ten grand? No, I like five hundred bucks. No <laughs> way, dude! Like, I'll give you five hundred right now if I can kick you in the fucking nuts. It'll go a long way, JP. 
Yeah, I'm at the point now where 500 wouldn't even uh, help my yeah, not my at all. Yeah, at all. Yeah, not at all. So it that's would just not be enough it. to fucking make get me through think a week. I yeah. was fucking doing okay for a minute. Yeah, yeah if if there were 500 one to, or five 100 dollars bills on the table and it's no like here way. you go, would you do it? Yep. No I would. way. Oh, for sure I would. Man, I'm poor as fuck, and I wouldn't do it for less than a hundred. Maybe grand. that's why you're poor as fuck. Yeah, because you're not taking these not opportunities, taking opportunities when they man. come up. This is a bad opportunity. <laughs> it's called the red car theory. Have you heard of that? Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about, I JP? Uh, I feel like I've heard it before. How many d- red cars did you see today? Right, until you buy a red car and then they're all red. red. No, no, but thanks for trying to assume the shit that I'm going to say. I but, don't know how many red cars I've seen today. One at least. All right, so what if I two, told you, two. what if I said, I'll give you $50 for every red car that you see? Oh, see how, many would, how many would you have noticed then? opportunities right. are the same way yeah. they're all out there quit you just gotta to be fucking, looking for them quit trying to get in my head yep and then the music plays oh and yeah it's like oh thanks for Anyways. changing lives that's positive shit right there ladies and gentlemen yeah. well we're, hey congratulations I, let's go to, let's go to the next question because i kind of like this this one comes in from reese newland he wants to know how much is too much to spend on fireworks that's a damn good question i don't think it's, it's all an, relevant uh, yeah it's not an relative. overall number relative i knew exactly what you meant so relevant. <laughs> but no it's it's irrelevant uh oh it's it's irrelevant, irrelevant. oh okay like how much how much it's is a, how much is too much for somebody? It, if you that's guys, what I'm it is all it is, relative. It is also all relative, but it's fucking. It's a percentage. Yeah. It's a percentage yeah. of your net worth. Uh, or, uh, you oh. know what I mean? Like, so if you only Mike make. Mike doesn't have any net worth. I don't <laughs> know what he's talking about. That's why I don't buy any fireworks. fireworks. I go Ten where four. someone else has bought fireworks. You, Mike sells True. the fireworks. Mike My fucking s- gets a part time <laughs> job selling the fireworks. My sister, who yeah. makes way more money than I do, her and her husband and my niece and the neighbors that live in their cul de sac with them, they all spend, I would guess, over a grand a oh, yeah. piece. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and it's a, a really fun time. It is. So that's where I might be on 4th of July but it depends because i have to be in minnesota the next night right yeah uh so i think the most i've ever spent on fireworks was like 500 bucks yeah that was the most i've ever spent but i'm telling you if you want to be smart about it you go no bullshit 15 minutes before they close Uh, and you stock up and then you shoot those off next year well that and then it just just recreate the cycle that's what you do because so do you have fireworks right now already that I you bought last year i haven't bought fireworks in like probably four or five years so but whenever i was buying fireworks that was the process because right. it was yeah, so much, gone, much cheaper bro. no no they they would basically just i mean they're, they're not going to throw them out but eventually they get old and they and they you know create duds and shit so there you they go. need if to, you want to save to some them. money for your family yeah. buy expired buy fireworks <laughs> yes. buy duds. that are going to burn buy. you and all Dude. of your loved ones alive <laughs> I, if I we wouldn't. don't if we don't have a tent next year of <laughs> scotty's, uh, scotty's, uh, scotty's almost expired, almost expired, expired fireworks, fireworks <laughs> J- then we're J- fools J- the roman candle jp shoved up his ass with that's the that's the <laughs> logo on the side of the tent it's just got some tape on it and a new wick yeah. no it's good it's, it's a good one it's good. good hold uh, it with the gloved hand yeah oh god uh all right it comes with a rubber glove <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you ain't gonna want to touch this one uh. <laughs> and last one comes in from john waltman he wants to know at what age do you consider someone to be old oh, god that's a good question whatever i am now oh that's shit i think it's five years older than me no matter what age i'm at yeah okay when i, when I was a freshman in high school a, a college freshman i was like man those guys are old I'm, really i'm five you years know? older than you aren't i i don't know i'm 42 yeah I'm, i'll be 48 in august jeez louise well then i guess i gotta take that back because i don't think of you as old i don't I think either. of you as an equal to me no i well, that makes me feel worse <laughs> i think we're the exact makes me go same clip my toenails <laughs> you know who's fucking old joe fucking biden yeah. had that dude's older than shit well, yeah he is pretty but, old but it's not about age though i think yeah I, my grandma could have a point. better debate performance oh, and sure. she's 93 That's, that yeah. is that is when they're old when they when they're losing cog cognitive ability that is when somebody it's is called old. sundowning you get to yeah. a certain point where you're sharper during the day than you are at night Gotcha. And so See, that's why they're they're speculating the now that, that Biden's going to try to have the next debate at like three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's going to help. 
<laughs> but no, I, 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 I think it's just if you if if you can't do normal shit because of your age, that's what that's what I think it's old. Yeah. Does that make sense? Of okay. course. All right. But I mean there's people in their sixties that shouldn't drive anymore. Yeah. And there's people in their nineties who still do and my dad can. My dad is almost seventy years old and he can still ski down like a mountain right very well so yeah that kind of shit but can't remember what he had for breakfast <laughs> no he can't yeah. he's good he has no idea who i am but we love skiing yeah oh that's when he really shines yeah. that's when he comes out of it and i see my old dad again uh, for a moment ladies and gentlemen that is that's where i draw the line now we get to move on to questions I pushed two buttons at the same time. Yeah, the All old right. rim shot applause. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> questions, Tale as old as time. Questions and preguntas. Uh, thank you very much. We got more than enough of these, and let me tell you, we're probably not going to do all of them. Let's do all of them. They won't know. Ah, we might as well. We got plenty of time. Uh, but anyways, this first one comes in from Liz Perkins. Uh, this is a female. I, I double checked. I wanted to make sure that I highlighted female, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, Liz great. Perkins. Thank you, Liz. Uh, she wants to know. We got chicks Liz. out there. Yeah. She wants sure to it's not Liz? No, it's Liz. Mm. She wants to know, what is the worst thing to do on 4th of July? <laughs> Shove a fucking Roman candle up your ass Not and the it worst. backfire. No, Not there's, the worst. There's more, way worse than that. Oh, there? of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you could be cut in half. Uh, yeah. you could by torturers. Now you got me thinking about torture <laughs> oh, again. No, you could have a red hot poker shoved up your ass. Oh God, yeah. My no. my dad actually used to say that whenever I would. <laughs> That's com- not what I was thinking. He was whenever I would say. complain about something, he'd be like, "It's better than a poker in your ass." Oh God, and I'd be like, "Yes, I do have to admit that a red hot poker in the ass would be I worse than never, mowing the lawn right have now." Never had a red hot poker in my ass. Nobody but I has have. that's alive. But I have had a red hot porker in my ass. <laughs> oh before. God! What was her name (laughs) jeff (laughs) (laughs) no what's the worst thing to do on the fourth of july i don't understand rob a bank yeah i know I mean, have your head cut what off a dumb what fucking the? question do meth of course it was a woman's question <laughs> hey i know come on what's your favorite thing first question we've I had from know. a woman besides gotta... taylor in years and this is the one you fucking went with. i'm not come shitting on. on the question I'm it's not just either. it's overly broad it you is. know like <laughs> like she is Hey, Brian. Hey, She's too chick for me. Well, Liz Perkins, it was nice. It was nice having you as a listener to the no, show. It's I good, like. The, I like the question. It's just I can't answer stuff like it's, that when people right. when people are like, "What's your favorite movie?" What's or your like, least favorite thing to do on Fourth of July? Like, what's the what's the least favorite thing that everybody I, does that you just don't like to do? I like there all isn't. of the fourth. I like I, getting yeah. together I, with I'll friends. I like barbecuing. I, I like swimming. I, I like fireworks. Yeah, I like going like to baseball the, games. The I like getting blown in the backseat of my the, parents' like, car. The colored smoke bombs. The okay. ones that, yeah, those. They're the best. I think they're the dumbest fucking thing in the world okay. because they just scar your driveway forever. Who cares? I yeah. do. I think yeah, that's the worst. because you're fucking weird. My driveway scarred from all the oil that drips onto it right okay. a little bit of color just adds some pizzazz yeah all right. all right uh next one comes in from tyler adams he wants to know best excuses to use when your boss really really needs you to stay longer and you've had enough of that bullshit for the week basically when your boss tries to get you to stay at work and you don't want to what's the best excuse Share your pants no <laughs> that's exactly what i was gonna say no no yeah i mean that's you got to start the relationship of being like look man i'm off yeah yeah i don't do things when i'm off yeah 100 right. yeah. percent. no easy no not even no thank you just dude no not only no then but no you shouldn't have scheduled me that day because you know that i'm off that day right so I won't be here. Yeah, bye. I've done that too. See, a lot of times a good yes or no will solve problems more than a no because. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because then the excuse no. gives no. the person a, 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 a good way to be like, well, what if we did something about that? Right. Right. And you're just like, if you're like, no, then they're yeah. like, ah, well, fuck. <laughs> no. I was hoping you would have said yes, but. I like this next one. This next one comes in from Travis Tharp. He wants to know if you could pick any song to be played, the last song you ever hear right before you die what would it be baby by justin bieber really no okay it's like <laughs> wow man that's even that's a little gay for you uh, i would say um fucking dust in the wind oh that's good i like that one that one's good 
I just thought of the part of uh, Welcome to the Jungle where he goes, you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> and then if I died right after that, I'd be like, as I was dying, I would be like, that was pretty fitting that he t- said die okay. right before I died. Fortunate Son by uh, by CCR. No, I hate that. Oh, I fucking song. love it. Of course you do. <laughs> and then you, how would you die in a helicopter crash over <laughs> Vietnam? World War Three, dog. I, World War Three is not going to be a. Yeah, a war war. It's gonna be yeah. fucking drone war. It, it, it's, it's gonna be it's look. Gonna be what is cyber that? Cyber attacks. What is that? Is that a, kind of Is that a comet? Is that an asteroid? It's and then a death drone. And then you're done. Yeah. <laughs> you heard uh, of death warnings. These are death drones. Okay. Ooh. I okay. This next question I really do like. Um, this comes in from Andy Ames. What do the different honks from a car horn mean? So you have the honk, light honk, green. honk. Or honk! <laughs> Lights green, you dumb motherfucker. Go before I ram you. Yeah. Yeah. That's the little chirp. That's the first one. The little short one is, hey, just, hey, wake up. Wake up. Yeah. Get off your phone. What's Go. T- what's two? Like two honks? Two honks. Bam, bam. Like you cut me off or fucking uh, you're about to hit something. I'm helping you by getting your attention here. Yeah, I that's think that's a multi honk. I think it's more of the, the two honks is like, hey, hey, that's no, that's what yeah. that is. Yeah. I do the long one for that one. Like if somebody cuts that's me off. That's if you cut me off. Or fucking. Yeah, oh yeah. I no, the fucking, long Rrr. sound, that just makes me like. Um, assume something else is going on somewhere multiple no. honks makes me try to i'm with jp on this one That's because focus mike's in on the honk driver. mike's the one we're honking <laughs> exactly. at. i'm an excellent driver yeah. me and jp are long honking someone and following them to oh. their destination <laughs> until that's when we fucking and then we're off. gonna yell obscenities out the window and drive away <laughs> exactly and i'm just <laughs> gonna Fuck your smile native grass, and wave yeah. you piece of shit yeah i exactly. worked with a comedian once and he had a good joke about how he will uh if he's the second car in line at a red light He'll wait, and the exact split second that the light turns green, he fucking presses the horn. So the guy in front of him spends a second going, what the fuck, it just turned. And then he honks a second time, go! Uh, It was funny. Yeah. Uh, This next one comes in from Jet Jeff. 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 My name is Jeff. (laughs) What's his last name? (laughs) Say it. We're going to just say Stutz. Stutz nigger. It is. No, it's, it like, is. it's like it's like Arnold is. Schwarzenegger. It's like Schwarzenegger, but, but yeah, it's Stutz. Stutzenegger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jeff, Jeff wants to know what restaurant would you still continue to go to even if they recently had a reputation of putting out food that causes food poisoning? That's I. I don't think that I would do that. Mm, yeah. Why would you do that? Oh man, I got mine. Chipotle, because that's what people do. It seems like <laughs> every like probably six months they're like, you know, don't eat Chipotle, you're gonna shit your brains out. They'll fuck you up, yeah. and everybody's like, eh, it's okay, it's worth it. They're like, which Chipotle was it? Right, yeah. I'm gonna go All to a different them. one. They're probably fine. No, mine is a hole in the wall um, uh, Chinese food place here in Wichita. It's called Malaysia Cafe. It, it's been there since I like before I was born and it is the fucking shit and I don't care if they put dog or cat for their chicken I'm eating it and I don't give a shit hmm. that's mine how about you Mike well I wouldn't eat dog or cat unless it's after the apocalypse you should try their dog or cat whatever it is it's delicious what? and how do you, you order that you I, just go can I have some chicken yep and they go we get you meat they, they yeah here's meat it's delicious, whatever it is. I don't care. If I if a place had food poisoning earlier in the week, I would not go there again mm-hmm. for a while. Sure. Right. Uh, all right. Next one comes in from Braxton Lint. He wants to know what words or phrases piss you off when people say them wrong. Uh, supposedly. Stutz nigger. <laughs> 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 yeah if you say stutz nigger wrong then someone's gonna get upset yeah. with you the phrase that absolutely drives me nuts is when somebody goes i could care less and it and they, but they care they, but they <laughs> fucking care no no it's it that's because it's said incorrectly it's not i could care less it's i could not care less drives me nuts Meaning you care the least amount yeah. that a human being could possibly care about this yes, thing. Yes, it drives me nuts when people say that shit. So it's, it, the correct way is I could not care less. But if you care a lot, 
then you could care. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but Fine. that it still sounds like a dick to. But that's Either funny. Way, yeah. If they're like, we worked really hard on your birthday party, and you're like, I could, I could care, care less, less. <laughs> and they're like, yeah. fuck you, dude, and you're like, no, I'm saying like I care so much. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of room for me to care less <laughs> than I do. Right. It's really a compliment. That, right. So that's Correct. what we need to do. We need to start saying I could care less as a thing, as you. a good thing. Right. Jesus. Uh, that'll be fun. That would be try fun. that this week. Viewers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. Your Project. boss is like, Hey, I need you to do this. And you're like, I could, I could care, care less. less about that thing. Absolutely. And right. And last one comes in from Thomas Krause. He wants to know what's the worst song to play during a firework display. Uh, I'm trying to think of something about bombs or dying or right. I can't think of it. This would be a good time for a, a artificial intelligence. It, it's it, for me. It's always the Titanic song. My heart will go on. Right I think away. that would be a good fireworks song. Yeah. Really? Fireworks are good. So every song, yeah. imagine the fireworks exploding Fire. to the words, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah. I, okay. I, I can't think of one. I yeah, there's, there's not a single bad song. Oh, Baby by Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah, that, that'd be fine. It'd be fun. Uh, I don't know if they Was could there be an official song of the Third Reich? <laughs> because maybe that one. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Whatever that one was. Yeah, what's the North Korea? The North right, Korean right. National no, Anthem. Something Absolutely. like that. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Now we're getting something. But yeah. still, even if I watched that, if there were fireworks going off, I'd be like, that, like, yeah, that is You cool. know what? Those North Koreans are onto something. This song yeah. kind of jams. I did see a North <laughs> Korean performance of, uh, I think they did, was it one by Metallica or something they did a really cool oh, like yeah. english uh, like their whole choir north korean choir or something i don't know look it up oh. look up like north korean music performance they make those people i don't know if they, they make, make them they just they perform. they grow up thinking that they have a god for a president and yeah, they're like what so i just legitimately sing? the worst country in the fucking world is or north the korea. best no depends if no. you live there and how you feel about it here you go i got proof for you let's make a peninsula and the north people be communists and the south people be capitalists uh -huh. and then let's look at them uh, from space at night and tell me who still has the fucking lights on but may th those people grow up being like yeah we don't need lights uh. at night because we have candles and god God. God, man, that's a scary. Uh, it's look it's at like an Amish country. farm at night, yeah. and how much fucking light do you see? And it's Ugh. like those people must hate their lives. Oh, Jesus it's like Christ. no, they fucking see, love the it. The only light you see on an Amish farm at night is the one that's in the bowling alley. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, <laughs> they love bowling. Oh, wow, good deal. The Amish, and that was the only point I was trying to make was cool. that the Amish love bowling, All and right. so do the North Koreans. Full, I figured. Yeah. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Thank you very much for participating in Monday Fun Day. Now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Three. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. draft. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Baldwin won. Holy yeah. shit. Hell yeah. How'd that happen? No idea. What is going on? They, Talking about they, doing shit when it's hot outside. That's right. Yeah. No, yeah. it was definitely the have sweaty sex and, and, and yeah, air conditioned right. sex. <laughs> back to back. Those are the two best kinds of sex. Yeah, right. You know what the best thing to do whenever it's really hot outside? You know what that is, Mike? Uh, it's to cut your fucking toenails. Nope. I, I'm just not even, it, it doesn't even concern me anymore, you guys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so that means that Mike gets the championship picks this week. Yeah. JP got second, so he gets the Eiffel Tower picks that he loves right there. <laughs> and I, of course, get the number one overall pick, and I am okay with that. So... Ladies and gentlemen, guess what this week's draft is going to be? He always gets the overall first pick. No, I don't. I'm normally in the middle. I'm normally Eiffel Tower because nah, we always have a guest. Lose, I do normally lose, though. But, yeah, default. Yeah, yeah okay. default. All right, I'm with you. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, this week's draft is going to be just right before 4th of July, and it is going to be our favorite fireworks. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, yeah. Is that what? That's the president. Oh, <laughs> whatever. All right, Joe Biden. Biden. Yeah, that's better, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> this. <laughs> I'm an okay. idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. That, that seems fireworky, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I play fireworks during the president. Sure. 
Uh, but yes. Joe Biden would be like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Worst thing I could have ever done is put up the split screen of that fucking thing. Anyway, my first overall, first overall pick uh, for the firework draft, I am going to pick Saturn Missiles. Those are the best. Pew, you pew. Can, yeah, and you can get a fucking cake of them, like uh, like 500, and just turn them over and shoot them at people. It's awesome. Saturn Missiles is my number one overall pick. Great pick. JP, what do you got? My first pick is the ones that go, pew, That's all of them. Okay. That's my first pick. No, what is your That's fucking... my pick, God man. damn it. I don't know what that is. That's Here, all of them. Down. No, that's all of them. It's B-R-R-R-R <laughs> hyphen P-E-W. Oh, my Brrr, God. Pew. Oh, this is going to be terrible. No, it's got to be like a mortar or something. There you go. Okay. Pew pa. Okay. All right. All right, Mike, let's, uh, let's give you some uh, opportunity to, you know, Defend your title. What do you got? Uh, I like the little snakes. <laughs> you like snakes? Okay. <laughs> I'm a sneaky little snake. Sneaky little snake. <laughs> All right. And your next pick? Um, I will say, well, I'll just go Roman Candle. All right. That's good. Love it. Roman Candle. Surprised JP didn't pick that one. How about you there, JP? The ones that go, squee! <laughs> Okay. But that's Saturn missiles, I think, isn't it? They're all of them. Yeah. I think these, like the rooster tails that that have wheels on them that you put them on the ground. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. What's terrible? Is is it yours? Yeah, I get two in a row. Let's have them. I'm going to do bottle rockets. Yeah. Right. And uh, and then I'm going to go. Damn it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do mortars mortars yeah those are the those are the ones that you put in the tubes and you light them and they go up and that's what you're supposed to do let me tell you what's really fun don't to hold don't it in your hand it in and throw it like a grenade and, and throw it yeah that's some good shit uh jp what are the can we just skip you why because they're not even really fireworks they are you're not do, you're not playing the game i'm playing the game no it's bad you'll see what noises are you gonna make now Boom. <laughs> okay. Boom. All right. That's my third. Okay. And then, uh, Mike, you get two in a row. Um, sparklers. Okay. You get snakes and sparklers. Even though I, I'm actually kind of scared of sparklers. <laughs> really? I still have a scar on my ankle from a sparkler incident when I was 19. Mm. Have you ever taped a whole bunch of sparklers together? Sparkler bomb, baby. Oh, I've yeah. seen it done. All I was doing was sitting with a beer in one hand and a sparkler in the other, and a, just <laughs> a, little, works out. a little sparkler nugget flew perfectly inside of my shoe, oh. and my immediate reaction was to pat it to make it go out like I would a cigarette ash or something, and all I did was just drive this molten thing into my ankle. Uh, it was and it got into a big bubble and shit. It oh was man. fucking bad. Okay, good so times. What, what's your what's your next one? Uh, fountains, oh, of course. Those I, are the dumbest things. I like the little. I just like to sit and look at the pretty stuff. My list isn't looking so bad now, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it looks terrible. But what's your next pick? The ones that go. Okay. <laughs> this is so dumb. You're gonna fucking win, too. <laughs> I fucking should. <laughs> I fucking should. This is so dumb. Okay, uh, I, I'm gonna pick uh, the strobes. Ooh, mm, those are good ones. Those are yeah. awesome. Yeah, that is a good one. Uh, and then my last pick. I don't know why I am so fucking into these, but jumping jacks. Uh, okay. Remember, you light them and they just zzz, on the freaking on the ground. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. You just took my last pick. No. <laughs> Too fucking bad, bitch. Damn it. Jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. That was my last pick. All right, but you were just gonna make some stupid ass noise. Yeah. Zzz. Okay. What but about? I can't do that. Now. Can't do that now. Well, what do you got, bitch? What do you got? Pew 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 <laughs> pew 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 pew. Okay, pews pew pews. All right. Pew 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 pew. That sounds like a Saturn missile. I don't know. All right, Mike, what's your last pick? What's your favorite ones? Smoke bombs. Uh, I, knew, I can't do it, man. I can't like a smoke bombs. A earlier. smoke bomb yeah. strobe light uh, double Bomb-o. effect. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, those that's are good. 
You put them together. Yeah, those <laughs> strobe lights are really good for when it's <coughs> the darkest. You know. Oh yeah. Like there, you can do bottle rockets and Roman candles and whatever at noon, but a strobe light just. But smoke bombs you can do any time of Absolutely. the day. Absolutely, you can do strobe lights at noon too. They're just way less impressive. Yeah, you can't do the robot and have it look cool. <laughs> yeah. The way you can at night. One hundred percent. Right on. I'm surprised nobody picked firecracker. Just just a good old like a black, black cat. cat. I'm pretty sure JP did. That's why I didn't. Oh, okay. Boom. Boom. I didn't know if that was that. A, that uh, covers black cats, yeah. M80s, yeah. dynamite, yeah. fucking, All fucking of it. dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been my last pick. Dynamite. <laughs> Be- <laughs> Boom. Pew Big. pews and dynamite. <laughs> Big pew. <laughs> Big bang. Did we all get all of them? Yeah, those are everybody's. Oh man, that was all good. Right. Yeah. yeah, this is. We agreed that this was kind of a stupid draft, but it's also a very timely draft. It is. So we just wanted to be like uh i think i've got a great list <laughs> celebratory the best firework though of all time is whenever you tie a shitload of them together and light them off all at the same time that's the best one ever or if somebody accidentally points the roman candle the wrong way yeah. back towards where all of the fireworks yeah. are it's the same effect it's awesome right it's awesome to see it's <laughs> from, not awesome to experience yeah. yeah yeah i always feel bad when the the one where they had like just a truck filled with fireworks and the roman candle hits that spot yeah and it's basically an explosion i just feel bad for the kid that did it that happened somewhere it happens at once a year dude yeah Boom. Like, like and somebody <laughs> got it on like video mm-hmm. like like something happened sure tons of and video. it and it blew the <clears throat> fuck up it was crazy awesome but anyways yeah you can go and vote for your favorite list of uh, fireworks or for jp just noises uh and whoever wins you know gets a pat on the back Firework from noises. next week uh, I know Derek is not going to be here, so uh, maybe Mike again. We'll see what happens. May, well, I have a show Saturday oh, night this time, so oh, I whatever. That's fine. I don't right. know if I'll we'll be here next someone. week. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Don't worry. Yeah, but you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or on X at LOT sidelines and vote for the list of uh, your, you know, who has the best fireworks, <laughs> and it's not JP. It is me. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and JP's Stupid Fucking Noises. Did you say Fanger Bang? Fanger Bang. Bang. Is that a real thing? It, yeah. it, it is. Okay. It, it's a real fake beer that we created ah all right may or may is, not is be it a spelled shirt. f-a-n-g-e-r yep fanger bang finger yep. bang that's actually kind of hilarious yep good good on jeremy joseph that's uh that was his creation <laughs> may or may not be a t-shirt it's a little bit funnier to me too just <laughs> thinking of him coming up with it yeah. it's called fanger bang <laughs> fuck yeah uh, but yeah, JP and his uh, stupid noises. It's also sponsored by Mike Baldwin. Yeah. Go to MikeIsFunny.com. Uh, Mike has some uh, shows coming up. It sounds like he's going to be going up what, to Minnesota this weekend. Yeah, I'm at Laugh Camp Comedy Club in St. Paul, Minnesota on Friday and Saturday. Hell yeah. So if you are in the Minnesota area, go see Mike Baldwin. And if you bring 10 friends, I'll give you a t-shirt for a dollar cheaper than everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> wow wow man good See? for you my god it's hey good shit mike just trying to make you'll be rich in no time absolutely fans. uh but anyways uh this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is um would you rather have a roman candle up your ass that backfires oh yeah mm. or Take a kick to the nuts from conor mcgregor oh unprotected kick to the nuts so yeah it's going to hurt. That's how I know this is a good one, because I don't want to fucking do either of those <laughs> oh, things. Oh, yeah. I, oh I will take the kick to the nuts. I feel like yeah. that would heal faster. Uh, I'm, I'm 100% going with the kick to the nuts. But a, does, a, a, does a Roman candle explode, or does it just go poop? Uh, no, it, it goes boom. Yeah. All right, then no. I, I don't, don't care. If not, a flaming ball up your butt? No. I'll take a tiny flaming ball. Uh-uh. No. Against a kick to the nuts, oh, but not you, an exploding ball. You would cauterize your butthole. 
You would close that you would hole. Just, you'd just make it stronger, dude. <laughs> Is that right? I agree. Oh, no. <clears throat> Absolutely I, not. I bet JP's butthole is stronger than both of ours <laughs> because of the terrible things it's been through. Oh, my God. I'm so not ready for this. I think I'm going Roman Candle. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Oh, no. Oh. Because you said it backfires, but what I'm hoping for <laughs> is that when it backfires, it also, like... You know, it, it's got the equal and opposite reaction. So as it backfires, maybe the ball will just graze my butthole and <laughs> it shoot itself shoot out. Shoot itself out. But it, instead of making the the explosion, the projectile, the Roman candle body itself becomes the projectile. Correct. Just shot out and of the butt. And that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping if I squeeze it just the right time, <laughs> that oh everything's going to be how okay. Many, how many shots are in the Roman candle? Normally, they, it's like, vary. they vary from like, like there's some of them that have really big balls that are like eight, and then they have the little small ones that are like 12. Yeah. So which I read... Big one, and do I have to it's sit through one. all of them? Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah, the you ideal don't know which one's going to backfire. The so ideal one there would be <laughs> every time the first one shoots it out of my ass, <laughs> and then they're like, "You're it counts. We got to yep. count it." So that's oh. yeah, that's why I'm going Roman Candle. Oh no, I can't. No, no. Plus, I've already had experience. <laughs> so right, you're like, it can't be that much worse. No. It, Definitely can. It did get a little warm, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I saw a dude the other day. He took a, a black cat, and he lit it, and then he just closed his hand, oh, and then he no. did the same thing with his mouth. Oh, no. And he, you know, blew smoke out of his nose or whatever, oh, and was just like, it ain't Jesus. nothing. He was a fucking hillbilly guy. Yeah. God damn. But then I've also seen an equal video where a person, like, blows their fucking hand off. Yeah. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, man. So, God bless the internet. I yeah. guess so. Don't look that up. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening to another great episode. We sincerely do appreciate it. Thank you, Mike Baldwin. Thanks. And Jason Peterson. Absolutely. Yeah, buddy. JP. Excellent human beings. These both guys. These both of these guys are. These we both love, guys these are. Both, both these these guys. both guys are good guys. They're good guys. Uh, but again, thank you guys so very much for helping us grow the show. We sincerely do appreciate it. Enjoy the new music on the outro as well. And, but as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us. We hope you have to go to the ER because of a morbid curiosity of gay porn. <laughs> and you shove the wrong thing up your ass. Oh, God. If you don't like us, tell your enemies. Until next time, guys. I'm not sure what he said, and I don't think he is either. <laughs> Until next time, keep, keep laughing, laughing, assholes. We'll see you later. Take care. <laughs>